In today's column, I wrote a passionate love letter to Harper Lee, who died last week. Aww. Sad story. It, you know, she, I always think, you live to 89 years old, you lived a good life. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I saw your Facebook and that, that death kind of really affected you. It really affected me. You know, um, you know when you hear a song and you love it, love it, love it, and so you play it over and over and over again yeah. until right. you hate it. That's what we specialize on <laughs> on this station. That's what we do. Right. And so like your ears start bleeding and you want to pull out your hair. Oh, yeah. You get it. So um, that never happened to me with To Kill a Mockingbird. I have read it and read it and read it and I love it um, still every time I read it. It is amazing wow. how sometimes, you know, those celebrity deaths really affect you in a personal way. Even though you have no real attachment to the right, person. Right, right. I've never seen her before. What does it matter if she's here or not? I can still read her book. But um, I felt like when she died, you lived to 89. It's okay. You can go. But I thought, oh, I never got to tell her how much Aww. I liked her book. But, you know, and I didn't even read it till I was an adult. I was living in Rochester. So we've been here for about 19 years. And I was working at Mayo High School as a, like, a writing tutor. Nice. Yeah. And, um... And my desk was in the English faculty office, and there was a big stack of books, and I was bored one day, and so took one off and read it. And I actually, after reading a couple pages, slipped it into my bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brought it home gone. with me. The statute of limitations is <laughs> yeah. passed, so don't worry about that. Took it home, read it, and um, I, I did, I'm sure, bring it back. When I was done, but um, I've had a couple of copies since then. You get a late notice, two thousand dollar bill. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I heard right. You talking about it on the radio. It is one of those books. If you've not read it, you should pick it up because it is a masterpiece. It is, and you know what? I always thought the classics had to be written in this flowery, archaic language, like Middle English or something, mm -hmm. that you would have to read a page three Snobbish. times to get like Shakespeare? Yes, very, very fancy. They're very fancy, <laughs> these classics. But um, To Kill a Mockingbird is written from the viewpoint of a child. So it's written as if a child is telling the story. And so it's a super easy read, but it's wise and funny. It's so funny. I look forward to reading your passionate piece today. <laughs> Thank you. In the Post Bulletin. Look for Jen's World every Wednesday in the PB and online postbulletin.com.